Hey everyone, welcome back to the another Flutter tutorial. Today we are going to set up our Flutter project with Firebase. Lots of my viewers request to make this video. With the latest update of Flutter, there is no any option to add the plugin. Here you can see in the build.gradle file, there is no any place to add a plugin and there is no any place to add a Kotlin version. If you have the same problem, then you are in the right place to have solved this problem today. Let's start. First we have set up our Flutter project with Firebase. Here you can see I have just created a new project. This is the brand new Flutter project. You can continue with your existing project as well. Go to the console.firebase.google.com and create a new project and give the name. You can both enable or disable the Google Analytics. I'll enable it and go to continue and set the default Firebase account and create a project. Wait until it. After the Firebase project is ready, continue from here. Firebase provide us here Flutter to direct setup in our all the device by using the CLI. I have already created a video for this. You can watch in my channel. For now, we are doing it manually. First, we have connected it in Android. Select the Android. Here we need a Android package name. For the Android package name, go to the Android app build.gradle. Here you can see application ID. Copy this ID from here and paste it here. And if you want, you provide the nickname and SHA1 key. For now, we didn't require it. If we require this in later, we have easily added and register the app. It takes some time to register and after app is successfully registered, download the Google service.json file from here and you need to place it inside the app. For this, you can see this is the Google service.json file that we have just downloaded it and place it in the App. Here you can see Android app Google service.json along with build.gradle file. This Google service.json file include all the required things that we need to connect. After this, return back to the Firebase and next from here and we need to add some plugin from here. Choose the build.gradle here. In project level build.gradle, we need to copy this Google service.json plugin. Copy this from here and go to the a root level build.gradle. Here you can find the root level build.gradle, but there is no any option to add the uh, plugin with the latest update of Flutter. Instead of adding this plugin inside the build.gradle, there is the alternative option. Go to the setting.gradle file. Here you can find plugin section and just paste it here and keep in mind just follow the all steps. We have also required the latest version of Kotlin. Just search in the Google latest Kotlin latest version. Kotlin latest version. Here you can find 2.0.20 is the latest version available until now. If you have find the more latest version, I have just used this 2.0.20 and just replace this old Kotlin version with this version. Otherwise, you definitely face the error and save this file and leave it from here. And after we have added this, we need to go the app level view.gradle section and we need to paste this two line of command first. I have copied this Google service from here and go to the app level build.gradle section. Here you can find you just need to paste it below the Kotlin Android Kotlin version and Android application. Read this the Flutter Gradle plugin must be applied after the Android and Kotlin Gradle plugins. Com.android.application. The Android application ID is already here. You don't need to add and the latest version of Flutter already detect the dependency. You didn't need to add this dependency. Just next it from here and continue from here. After this, your Android app is ready. Just save it from here and go to the main dot section and add the Firebase core plugin. Add the Firebase core plugin in your pubspec.yml. Here you can see we have successfully added this package. After this, we need to make our function async 
and we need to initialize the firebase for this wizard flutter binding dot ensure initialize and we need to define the await keyword here and the firebase dot initialize app you just need to do this after this your android app is ready i'll kill this app from here uh, and i'll reinstall this app start debugging let's hope everything is correct terminal new terminal and debug console our app is on the way to build our app is built but it only show the flutter logo and our app is not open i have find the reason behind that everyone not face this error if you have faced this error again go to the setting.gradle file and change this google service.json version 4.4.2 into 4.3.13 after you have changed this version and again and terminate this the old version and run this app you are definitely successfully run the app let's try it again congratulations you have successfully set up your flutter project with firebase without any error here you can see our app is successfully run without any error if you have followed the every steps then you didn't face any error we have successfully aid on android now we have tried the same process in ios as well for iOS setup, it is quite easy as compared to Android setup. First, we have go to the Firebase and add app and we have choose the iOS. Here we need to provide a app bundle identifier. For this, go to the iOS section and open in Xcode. Click on open in Xcode. It takes some time to open if you have not already opened it. And here, there is the runner section and here you can see bundle identifier. Copy this ident bundle identifier from here. And just paste it here. And register the app. It also takes some time to register the app. And after the app is registered, it gives the Google service info.plis file. You just download it. And we need to provide it inside the runner. For this, open your download location and just place it inside the runner. And you didn't need to do anything, just finish it from here. And go to next and we have again next here, choose the Swift option and we need to import this Firebase core. Copy it from here and go to the app delegates and just add it before the UI kit. And Another thing we need to add is Firebase app dot configure. Copy it from here and just paste it below this line and save it from here and and close the Xcode. And the last thing we need to change in the iOS setup is go to the iOS section. Here is the port file. We need to up, we need to update the latest iOS iOS version. Firebase core require the at least thirteen minimum iOS version and save it from here and close this let's hope and run our ios app congratulations to you all we have successfully set up our flutter project with firebase in both the android and ios device it is working fine by this way you can easily connect your flutter project with firebase you all request in my previous video that's why i'll make this video special for you if you have follow every stage then you have connect successfully in both the ios and android device if you have face error then comment out below i'll try to help you okay bye, -bye. we'll meet you in the next video